DSP time is a value that precisely records the number of samples processed by the audio system in Unity. It operates independent of your frame rate and returns a double rather than a float, which makes it much more accurate than if you were to use time.time .time or wait for seconds. By utilizing this and a function called play scheduled, we can effectively queue up tracks with precise timing. So let's get into it. If we want to play a clip, let's use play scheduled. Unlike play, which plays the clip immediately, play scheduled will play the clip only when it reaches a certain point in time. We'll call this goal time and it will be a double. For the sake of this tutorial, let's say I want my audio to play 0.5 seconds from when I call this method. We will set goal time to audio settings dot DSP time, which is the precise time it is now, plus 0.5. So in 0.5 seconds, the audio source will play our current clip. And that's actually the bare basics of this system sorted. With this information, you can do a lot with timings and scheduling. Obviously, right now, this probably looks like an overcomplicated way of just pressing play on an audio source. So what can we do with this? Well, what if we wanted to load a second clip to play once this one is finished? All we need to do is check how long a current clip is playing for by dividing its samples by its frequency. Then we just need to set our new goal time to the current goal time plus our music duration. We now know exactly when the current clip will end and can call another play scheduled to start a new clip playing once it does. So in the update loop, I'm going to check if the current time is greater than the goal time and then put something like minus one here. This will schedule our new clip to play once the old one is finished using the new goal time. So there's two things to note here. I've put in a number like minus one just to make sure I load up the new clip ahead of time. You can set this number to whatever suits you or forgo it altogether. Although it's usually better to preload the clip rather than calling play scheduled instantly. And second, scheduling clips will stop whatever clip is currently playing on the audio source. So I've had to set my new clip to play in a second audio source. This can get fiddly. So to make it a lot cleaner, let's create a play scheduled clip function. This will be called every time we're about to reach the end of our currently playing clip. We need two audio sources, which we'll swap between when playing clips back to back. These can be put in an array. Don't forget to add these two in the inspector and make sure to turn off looping and play on awake as it will cause a lot of problems otherwise. Next, just create an int that we'll use to toggle between our two audio sources. At the end of the function, we'll be flipping this audio toggle number back and forth between zero and one with this handy line of code. And therefore, we will always be alternating between audio sources when we call this method. So let's change the clip of the current audio source to the current clip. Then we simply call play scheduled on this audio source using the goal time. So when we reach the goal time, this audio source will play our clip. Then we do what we did earlier, grabbing the music duration from our clip and resetting the goal time to when this clip finishes playing. Now what we have here is a really simple way to continually loop music accurately, regardless of frame rate. Every time the clip is about to finish, we load it up again to follow seamlessly on. And if you ever want to change the music that gets loaded to come after, simply change the current clip, possibly using a function like this which you can call from elsewhere. And that's it for the basics. If you wanted to go deeper, I would advise checking out an amazing source online where I learned all of this in the first place. I'll link it in my description. It is far more extensive than this video and I'm so grateful for the help that I got from it. I hope this video has helped you and I'll see you next time.